section. We began in KG1 here and studied up to class 5. And then we shifted to the junior section in the main building there. Initially, the ground floor used to be the teacher's uh, common room. Now, I believe they've turned it into a classroom now. We used to have section 5A here, 5B there. And upstairs used to be the common room for the hostel students on the second floor. And we're going to go inside the primary section. This is a staff room, huh? This is the canteen corner, right? Uh, one from a long way from a simple tin shed to a permanent concrete building. And during the tin shed days, uh, there was this guy, Dilip, who used to run the canteen there. Now his son runs the show there. So, yeah, this has a lot of memories. And you should there. also tell them what are the things that are sold here, samosas and chutney. Uh, rotten, no. Unhealthy for rotten. health. Unhealthy samosas. Um, two days old samosas. And <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that is what we crave for. That's what we crave for. We used, to, we, used to pay po we used to get pocket money, 5 rupees a week. That wasn't enough, so we had always some uh, things piling up in his copy there. Yeah. So when our guardians came, they paid the remaining amount. We, we had a khata, we had a khata, and then we used to add note everything. Sometimes we used to run away, not pay, and most of the time... In between, I must system. add, if they had eaten unhealthy, healthy, then they still have so healthy. How is it? <laughs> So you got adapted to it from the beginning. Whatever you eat, your body is okay. So you have a good success. Yeah, yeah. 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 So now we are heading to where we used to call our primary section hostel. Um, there used to be a colossal gate here, as you can see it's been taken down. And um, we are going to slowly head towards what we used to call the double tree and the box room sections. And the study hall, the study hall study section. Room. This is to the common room. This used to be the common room earlier. Um, Lots of desks and everything, but this is where you play our games, indoor games. This was one big room. Right? And this was one big room, yeah, you're right. There was a table tennis board and some camp floors. Yeah. This was one big room, and uh, it extended all the way to here. Yes. There was a little cupboard, which I believe still is there, and those covers were used to store, store the dry food. food. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. and, and uh, indoor, games, indoor games equipment. Um, we had biscuits and all, we used to bring from home and used to keep it there. Yeah. And we were supposed to share with all our friends. Yeah. And this was a temporary toilet. I don't know what has, what it has been converted into. Um, so these were the volleyball courts. Yeah. And we'll come back to this. This was the vice principal's office. Father said this. Yeah. Oh, Father said it. Yeah. And this, this was the study hall. This used to be the earlier study hall before we shifted there. The three rooms together. Yeah. They yeah, partitioned it. Yeah, the whole, whole hall has been partitioned into three rooms. So. And in the corner, Mrs. Munshi used to sit mm. on a raised platform. <laughs> and uh, there was a board there. So if you had to write letters, she would scribble a few words, initial sentences, Dear father and mother, I am keeping well, how are you, etc, etc. You were supposed to write that even if you are not well. Yeah. And thereafter you could add in vernacular, but those things had to be written down. And she would physically check if you have written it down. Yeah. Okay. Just Let's move to the next one. So this is the length of the study hall. If I'm not this was the study hall. Yeah, this, this was all the way study hall. And um, there was the... Uh, here on used to be the dormitory. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. Quite small box room in the front room. But a, a very familiar sight from here, Ahmadji, used to be a Mrs. Munchi's chair. Mrs. Munchi's chair. Uh, and stay here. Sit down somewhere around. Right, right, there, there, right there. over there. Right. Over here. Yeah. This is where Mrs. Munchi used to sit down in a chair mm -hmm. with a fan and singing at night. Ravina Sangeet, to be more precise. Yeah, Ravina Sangeet singing at night. And, and that was a very familiar sight. And loud, deep throated voice. Light, loud, deep throated voice. And accidentally, if she heard any unpleasant noise, the song, song would stop. Hell breaks on loose on the guy who made that in, in unpleasant noise. So, this is where the dormitory used to be. They have all been split into classes. From that length, all the way to here, all the way to here, and then to here. Except for the last two doors. This entire length used to be the primary session dormitory, which used to house approximately. 50 to 60 beds. Uh, students of class four, five, uh, 4 and 5. Yeah, 4 and 5. So section A and Section B, hostel boys. Yeah, and they also, I think, if I'm not mistaken, when I was here, I even saw people from as old, as young as class 2. Class 2, it's going to be our time, so hostel boys was class 4. Four, four, four hours. Hours. So in, after that, they did take some class 2 students. They're very young, and they were only scared to take young students because um, they, are, they are not as free on their own, they are not as independent on their own. Um, that was the good part of it. Um, the last two rooms, that's one room. Yeah, that's one room, sorry. This room used to be the boxroom. We used to call it the boxroom. And they are thinking about all the signs. Um, um, they used to have two rows of um, um, alveolars uh, over here in the center, two rows of alveolars, and then they would have these little boxes in, in our um, compartments, and each compartment belonged to one student, and you could store all your stuff in there, and uh, that's why we call them box room, because they were, um, and you would have your trunks on top of the alveolars, and at the end of the session when we went to school holidays, uh, we used to take down the trunks, put all the stuff and get going from the holidays. The next door is the shower. Shower stinks. Yeah. This is to the shower room come toilet. This place that stinks really bad. This is to be the shower room. Um, they have taken out all the tabs, of course, because the hostel is closed down. But um, you would have roughly 30, 30 tabs on both sides. The toilets were not there. 30 tabs and 30 shower heads on top. They were the toilets. Toilets were here all the Toilets were here or it was on the toilets outside? Toilets were here. Because I remember this was closed. Mm -hmm. There was a barina there. You see the assignment section filled there. Mm -hmm. Toilets were in one corner and the shower was that side. Oh. Because when you went to the toilets, mm. still the study, you can hear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And these mulberry trees are testimony to a lot of history. Yeah, the mulberry trees have been Ashoka there. trees to be precise, they are the mulberry Ashoka trees. Yeah. And uh, I remember them since my KG1 days. And even senior people. They have the unique thing that they have also act as pillars for these boundary walls. This is to be our primary section chair, which I can try to fit in if I can reduce some of my weight. But yeah, the chair that we all used to sit in in the, in the primary section study rooms. the number of sections have also increased. Um, so the numbering of the classes are very different now. But uh, as, as far as I remember, until the last days of the school hostel, um, this used to be the class 5. 
5A and, and 5B. 5B. And uh, because class 5 used to be the senior most uh, class, uh, they used to have a bell, uh, the, the primary section bell that they used to ring. So the bell used to be kept somewhere there. And uh, it used to be hung up here. And, uh, oh yeah, brother is actually... It was actually right hung up there. Shuman? There used to be a big uh, brass bell there. Yeah, before this bell came about, this is actually a railway track. Uh -huh. okay, if you notice a part of it or something like that. There used to be a big brass bell that used to The be school there. captain used to ring it. And the primary section captain. The school captain could ring it, yeah. And um, unfortunately, there's no more mango tree here. There used to be a big mango tree over here in place of this tree. And um, we used to pluck mangoes from every direction, from down there, from up here. And we always had Diana and Mathuri chasing us, a father staying chasing us, uh, you know, trying to get rid of At one point of time, they leased the mango trees. Yeah. So there were some gentlemen who had leased it and used to chase us one corner to the other. So when you went to the right, we went to the left. And yeah. then we went on hide and seek throughout the night. Yeah. I mean, sorry, I, I, I really feel sorry for the gentlemen who, uh, who actually leased the trees because they didn't know that we had a bunch of like 300 odd monkeys in the hostel who could easily get rid of all the sweet ma mangoes on the tree and the only mangoes he was left with are the sour ones <laughs> so um, after that we cover the field down here Okay, we're gonna go downstairs. Uh, not much to be said about the classes on this row. They used to start during, I mean, during the times I remember. They used to start from 2A, 2B, all the way to 4A, 4B here. Um, something that I can very interestingly recollect, uh, there used to be a librarian and teacher, Mrs. Minakshi. Mm -hmm. Minakshi. If she sees me, she's going to bash me up wherever she is from. But um, I am told, I never, I was never a student, but I am told that she used to collect money for letting students go to the toilet. So, but, so, so, so if you're in a class and uh, you really urgently need to go to pee, uh, she would collect one paise, that was 25 years back, she would collect one or two paise, uh, and only then she would let you go to the toilet. So, um, for certain reasons, some students thought that it was a very expensive amount, so they could hold the pee along. So, very far into the top job, so we had KG1A, KG1B, KG1, KG2, KG2A, KG2B, class 1, and it ended with class 1B here. Ms. Srivastava was the class teacher of class 1A, and uh, she was really, very strict, so much so that, I mean, we were so scared of her, this, the, the fear is still there. She used to teach us Bangla and Hindi also. And uh, she used to be in a field here, boys used to play there. And the fag end of the corridor, we had a small uh, joke going to the primary section field. And we had tiny cross moving around in a different time. And there were small little benches, uh, not benches exactly, one small chair and one small desk for each student. It's still there in the Prakashi sections. You could try to take a picture of all of those small benches here. We have a... You have to sit. This is what they call adult education. So now somebody who mm -hmm. know that they're from Singapore has come to attend the class two classes here. Uh. Class one A, class one B. <laughs> this is from the private teacher's room. And teachers used to sit here. Now as you can see, converted to KG to D. Now they have section A, B, C, D. And we have a couple of teachers who have been evaluating the answer scripts. <laughs> At the fag end of the day, and then this light little girl there sitting there. This is where we came with our copies to get it corrected by teachers or to collect them. And 